Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Um, so today we are going to do 15 exercises for a minute each without a rest break. Um, you can take a rest break throughout at all, uh, anytime throughout the whole thing. Sorry, just getting my watch started. Um, if you need to, we're just gonna move from, from one exercise to the next. I will show you when we're at about 50 seconds, the next exercise. It, you're gonna need weights, suit pants, whatever you've been using for that. You'll need the chair because we're going to do sit to stands instead of the sit to stand challenge at the end. It's going to be a minute of sit to stands. Um, and then that should be all you need for equipment. Make sure you're wearing shoes that are sneakers for safety so you don't trip. Um, also, my dog is down here this week because he was whining so much last week. So he may make an appearance. He's right in front of me, but just a heads up. Don't be alarmed. Um, all right. So we are going to start with a side step. There's different variations of this. You can just step two steps each direction. You can squat each direction or you can stay down in a squat two steps each way. So we are gonna go ahead and get started with that. I'm gonna stay down into the squat because why not, I have the energy right now. If you're doing this, um, and you usually do it in the chair, be at a countertop and take two steps holding onto the countertop. That's also an option here. Halfway with this one. Like I said, if you need a break through the whole thing, go ahead. Fifteen seconds left. We're going to do bicep curls next. So go ahead and grab your weights. We're going to up and down here. Mine are behind here. All right. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Make sure you're doing a nice slow lowering. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's all momentum. You're not working your biceps the way you should be. So it's not about the number of reps you do, it's about the quality of the reps. Don't want to hurt yourself, just trying to get the numbers in. If something's too heavy, just go here. Just get the range of motion. You can sit while you do it. That's another option. Oh, there he is. I do. So, I know. How do you sit? Thank you. He thinks weights are toys, so. All right, we have 10 more seconds here. Next, we're just gonna do a nice and simple heel raise. So you're gonna go up on your toes and slow back down. Let's go ahead and do that. You can put your hands wherever you want. If it's too much, you can always sit in the chair. Sit in the chair and just up and down. Try to control when you lower back down. If you have a step, you can do this off the edge of the step and then let your heels hang a little bit and then up in the slow lower. That's gonna help work them a little bit more as well. All right, so we have 10 seconds before the next one. Keep going with the heel raises. We're gonna do knee to chest, or knee to elbow, alternating. So you're gonna tighten your core. Let's go ahead and get started with those. Tighten your core, try to bring your belly button back towards your spine. It's like you're about to get, you're bracing for impact for this one. It's not a sucking in motion. If standing is too much, you're gonna be here. Protect your back, make sure you're not doing that kind of motion. You wanna stay up as straight as you can, driving elbow to knee. Halfway with this exercise. But ten 
seconds here. Next, we're gonna do a nice, keep going with the abs. You're gonna get your weights to 90 and down. Nice, easy shoulder flexion. Let's go ahead and start with those. And then a slow lower. We'll do a minute here. If you need to sit, you can sit. Whatever is comfortable for you. If the weights are too heavy, go without the weights. If you get tired halfway through, safely set your weights down. And we'll just go up and down here. So we're working the shoulders. Halfway with this one. Ten more seconds here. Next, we're going to do the squat. So, knees don't go past your toes like you're going to sit. Back up, squeeze the glutes on the way back up. So we'll do a minute here. We're going to go ahead and get started. If it's too much, hold on to something here. Mini squat. So you'll be holding. Mini squat, squeeze. Mini squat, squeeze. Halfway with this exercise. Next, we're going to add in a balanced one. We'll do 30 seconds on each side. There's different variations, so I'm going to start to show you. Keep squatting. We're going to airplane. So you can hold here. If that's too easy, we're going to shift back and forth. You can tap. Drive, tap, drive. We'll do it on both sides. We're going to go ahead and whatever leg you want to start with. We're going to do 30 seconds here and then I'll tell you when to switch to the other leg. If that's too much, go ahead. You're going to hold and just try to balance here. Eight seconds on this side and then we'll switch to the other side. One side's usually always weaker than the other. Okay, go ahead and switch. It can be due to um, previous injury. So I sprained this ankle in high school. Um, didn't properly rehab it, because I didn't think I needed to, but now I know better. Um, weakness on that side uh, could be your dominant legs better. I'm also right-handed, so this is not my dominant side. All right, next we're gonna do, keep going. Standing chest press. You're gonna hold your weights here, hands and soup, whatever. You can sit here. Standing works your core a little bit more. Bring that belly button in. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Make sure you have space in between your legs. Little bend in the knees. You don't want to lock out. Halfway. Try to, when you come back, drive your shoulder blades back and then push. If it's too much with weights, safely set them down, squeeze, extend, squeeze. That is also an option. 10 seconds left with this one. We're going to do a weighted side bend next. So you're going to see you later. Bend. Squeeze, bend, squeeze. All right, let's go ahead and get started with that. So alternating, make sure you're not twisting. You're just drawing a line down until you feel stretch. Squeezing back up, draw the line down and squeeze back up. Halfway here. And then next we have sit to stands. So if you need to get your chair ready, we have 15 seconds left. You can do that or if it's ready for you, 
We'll do that. So it's just standing and sitting up, or sitting down and standing up for a minute. Try to use your legs as much as you can. Set our weights down. Back to the chair. Go ahead. So it's just up and down. You don't want to plop. I say that every week, but I'm going to continue to say it. Controlling that lowering motion is just as, just as important as standing up. So that's just showing some more leg strength that you may have. Okay, 25 seconds in. If you need to take a break, feel free to take a break. If you have arms on your chair and you need to push, stand for a second and sit back down, that's fine. If you get dizzy, stay seated until that dizziness goes away. This can change your blood pressure, this up and down. If you have any type of orthostatic hypotension, it will lower when you go from sitting to standing. We have 10 seconds left. Next, we're gonna do an overhead press. Keep sitting or standing. Weights up, slow back down. So go ahead and grab your weights now. And make sure I don't punch my ceiling. We're gonna go ahead and push up. Slow back down. Halfway there with this one. If it starts to hurt, put your weights down here. You can also alternate one arm up, other arm up. Lots of options. Same thing. Make sure there's a bend in your knees. Don't lock them out. Feet shoulder width apart. We have four seconds left. Next, we're going to do a side kick. So you're going to stand out to the side. Make sure you're not rotating at all. Keep that toe pointed forward. No leaning, because you're just hinging off this hip. So staying up, pull, and then back down. We'll do 30 seconds here. You can, if this is easy, put a weight, or not a weight, a uh, TheraBand around your ankle if you have one. And you can pull out that way. We have seven more seconds on this side. That's an option for advancement. All right, we'll switch. This is also good for balance. You have to stay steady on the one leg without moving here. So it's the stabilizing legs also getting work. You're up on one leg for that motion and it's a dynamic motion. It's not just here and hold. So if you can do it without holding on, that's gonna help with your balance. We have 10 seconds here and then we're gonna go into marches. If you have the band around your ankles, just move it down around your feet here because we're gonna go into marches. So nice. And easy. If you want to get some cardio in, you can go to high knees. Also, I want you to use your core. So it's pulling, slow down, pulling, slow down for all those who aren't doing it for the cardio piece. So you should be pulling from your lower abs. You don't want to make sure you're not doing anything funky with your back. You don't want to hurt your low back. Some people may only have the range to hear, the strength to hear. And you can replay this video later after you've done some strengthening and get your leg up a little higher after we keep working out. All right, so we're 30 seconds in, well, 39 seconds in here. And we only have two more left, which is a nice quick workout for you without breaks, which is advancing from what we've done before. All right, so next we're gonna do shoulders out to the side. Weights in your hand, you're gonna lift out. Go ahead and grab your weights. Up, slow lower. seconds into this one. This one's a tough one, so if you need to put your weights down, go ahead and go here. Make sure you're not going up over. It can put a lot of stress on the joint. You want to go to a straight line and back down. If it's painful for one arm, you can always do this. Don't push into the pain. 
just go to where you can. Four seconds. So next we have cross jumps, last exercise. So try to do as much as you can. So it's, you can cross here. You can also cross, 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 cross. If that's also so, too hard, cross, cross. So your arms are crossing, you're just stepping. Go ahead, we're gonna do it from a minute from there. So whatever variation, variation you wanna do, there's three there for you. So I'll jump, if I can get my legs going. Make sure if you start to feel out of, well, you're gonna get out of breath if you're jumping, but if you start to feel dizzy, lightheaded, if you're moving quick here, that you sl just slow it down a little bit. If you need to, stand, catch your breath, take a seat. There's no problems with taking breaks. Just pause the video and then jump back into it. Ten more seconds, and then you are done for the day. Make sure you get a big glass of water, hydrate, and rest before you get up and start working on the house or whatever you're going to do for the rest of the day. So we are done for today. Thank you for joining, and I will see you next week.